Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Just here. Yeah. There, yeah. that last one. Yeah, because it's one of the best ones because you've got a big bit of grass beside it. But... There'll be any sunshine on it then. We'll see. Daisy. Right, we've got the thing on. Mm. Sweet pea. We've got on here. Oh yeah. So here we go, Helen. This is this is it. This is it. It's just a camps on it so far, isn't it? With hard standing pictures. Um, it's a cut above. You can tell it's a cut above. I think. Is it thirty pounds a night extra? Uh, it's one hundred and eighty-nine pounds for three nights. <gasps> Really? <laughs> <coughs> We've just paid sixty pounds for three nights in uh, yeah, no, North Norfolk, and uh, that's just a normal pitch. Uh, they do these pitches in front like that. I think they call them emperor pitches, where you get like a a little kind of build. Just somewhere to go and sit and watch telly. Yeah, you've got telly, <laughs> fridge, table chairs. Yeah, it's there. That's yeah. nice. That is nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how much they are, how much extra they are. Dog walk and safari. Yes, I asked them about the dog walk and so it'll stream as well. Plus, there's a grooming area for them. Well, we're nice and close to reception in the bar, then, aren't we? Yeah. With all the services and stuff. Yeah, we are. That's a good thing. And you get to have a little ride around in the car and see it all, so that's also pretty good. That's the amenities in the middle. Oh, is it? Yeah. Now, turn right. Turn right? Over here, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's lost its mind. Got mind with it, Marigold, Delia, Geranium, Daffodil, that's us. Oh. There's only set up. They're they're quite thin, they're not wide pitches. No, they're not. Well hello everybody and welcome to Concierge Camping. We are all set up, we've had a, a drink, in fact we're on our second drink at the moment and as the thumbnail suggested we're going to give you our honest review of this site. A lot of you might have seen videos on it before. Is it overrated? That's what we're going to find out. We'll see. So what we're going to do, we'll take you on a walk around the site now, show you around and um, right at the very end, so stick with us, we're going to tell you exactly what we think of this place. Now, this is the road that we came down when we arrived and then we took a left turn into here and then it's immediately right straight into the entrance on Ratham Lane. Remember we're on the Ratham Estate 
You know you're here because you see this wonderful sign that says Concierge Camping at the Ratham Estate. Campsite of the Year England and overall a winner 2018-2019. Top Site Awards 2020 overall a winner. Best of British Quality Touring and Holiday Parks. Lure of the Year Awards. The Polar Charge Point. The Tesla Charge Point. The Visit England Gold Award. And uh, you know, you name it, it's all on there really. I suppose that does speak for itself, isn't it? You know, if you're saying to yourself, is this place all it's cracked up to be? Well, there you go, that says it all. Um, now where pitch, you can see our pitch. <coughs> we're just pitched over there, if I just zoom in. So we do back on to this road. There you go, you just heard it yourself. This little country lane is pretty busy. And I have to say, if you're backed onto the road like we are, <coughs> You get quiet spots, but it does also get quite noisy. Even at three o'clock this morning, um, three cars within sort of five minutes came around this, this lane. So let me just interject at this point because the cars going by at three o'clock in the morning apparently isn't a regular occurrence. It was a one-off. And uh, the one-off was the local co-op, which is just around the corner from here, was ram raided at three o'clock in the morning. Um, a JCB forklift truck had gone through the front of the shop um, wrapped a chain around an ATM cash machine, pulled it out, put it on the back of a pickup truck and then men in balaclavas in three cars sped off being chased by the police and the route they took on their escape was around the back of our caravan. It's like something else of Sweeney, isn't <laughs> it? It was really like some uh, <laughs> bit of a Starsky and Hutch type moment. So that's what all the noise was at three o'clock in the morning. Rest assured it's not normally that bad. So um, and anyway, concierge can't be held responsible for uh, the local shop being uh, being robbed. No, it's not their fault, is it? So back on with the tour. And no need to worry actually if you if you've got an electric vehicle, here's your electric charging points. So you've got four charging points here. And I don't know much about electric charging, I must admit. But also uh, a type two Tesla charger. I really don't know what a type two Tesla charger is, but if you've got one you'll know. And this is what greets you on arrival. The barriers here are number plate recognition, so when you check in, you check in before you get here with all your details, you pay in advance, and then your registration number is already keyed in, so the barrier just goes straight up. Right, so we're just coming to reception area here, look. Good. <laughs> I tell you. No, it's a, Bill's a joke here. I'll introduce you to Bill in a second. So this is the shop side of things here, look, so you've got some uh, croissants. Oh, look, Helen, you missed out here, there's croissants going on. And uh, pan au chocolat, and my favourites down there, mini cheddars. Like, so this is the shop side of things. And if you do run out of wine, no problem, because there's plenty here. Helen's tempted to buy one of these lovely glasses for her Malibus, aren't you? They're quite heavy, though, aren't they? They are heavy, yeah. They're plastic, but you wouldn't believe it, would you? That one's not so bad, actually. Well, they're all the same, aren't they? No, that one's heavier. Is it? Yeah. Look at the look. Campsite of the year, South East England. Oh, look, they've got Harry Bows and everything. Pig's ears. Oh, you know who likes pig's ears, don't you? Mm -hmm. You might have to get one, but I haven't brought my wallet, we'll come back. And also, there's uh, dog treats and shampoos. I think they think more about the dogs than they do about us here. So, if you need to get some uh, stuff and make it yourself, look at the beef burgers and stuff in here. Lamb burgers. All from the uh, local farm shop by the look of it. Ice cream. Where would we be without ice cream? This is a check-in area. You checked in here yesterday, Helen, didn't you? Yeah. Marvellous. And then over here, look, the creme de la rue. I ordered two bottles of this yesterday, and before I knew it, Bill had put it on the bill. This is the crystal champagne. 300 pounds of chips. To be fair, I did offer you two free drinks. You did, Bill, to be fair. You said if I bought those two bottles of champagne, you'd give me my other drinks for nothing. Yeah. Meet Bill. Hello, Bill. Can we... Hi, folks. Quick interview. <laughs> so, Bill's a local, aren't you? Where are you from, Bill? Newcastle. <laughs> but you, you're a friend of guys. You've worked here for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Too long, to be honest. I'll tell you what I've noticed. <laughs> Too long, yeah. Guy, are you listening? <laughs> um, everyone's really friendly. All you guys are really we, friendly. We try to be. Yeah, really good. Who's the dodgy Aussie? What's his name? Ian. 
Ian. Well, yeah. dodgy. well dodgy. Well dodgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well clear. So well clear of him. Now you get a very warm welcome here in reception and at the bar. And you'll always be encouraged to buy another drink, which I think is a brilliant thing. So, make your way over. Everywhere I go, I keep seeing these Campsite of the Year awards, different years as well. Yeah, I've just cut to that one over there as well. It's good, isn't it? Well, that, that one over there is a little bit special because that was our uh, very first one. Very first, first one? First year. Was it? 2016? Yeah, we, well, we opened it, we, it when you issued the issue for the following year. So it was actually issued in 2015. Ah, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're quite chuffed at that one. Yeah, 2019 up here, look. What's these things up here? Thumbs up. Is that well, you've got 11,297 well, thumbs up? Yeah, Instagram followers and the other side's Facebook. Ah. I like that, that will go up on if you dislike it, but we'll go down one. Ah, that's clever, isn't it? I'll have to get one of those on my YouTube channel. But it won't get very high. It won't get as high as that. <laughs> it's automatic, but <laughs> we've only sort of recently been doing Instagram. Yeah. In all honesty, we never get high. No, I bet you don't. No, he's too busy, aren't you? <laughs> Fabulous. Right, we're going to have a wander. The, su the sun shining. Thanks, Bill. We'll catch you later. See you later. But you can pick up some logs from here as well, like. Yeah. I can see what's going to happen here. You're going to end up buying goblets and brollies. Let's have a wander outside, shall we? Out this bit. So you can even nip if you've just arrived and you, you need the loo, like they even thought of that. As soon as you come into reception, little toilet there. So we sat here last night, had a drink, and a very nice feel, atmosphere, plenty of smart FM going on. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. We'll go around there? Can do. Come on, I'll take you around here. What's this say? Have you ever seen a dog wearing yellow? Yellow lets others know your anxious dog needs space. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? I didn't know this. Not all dogs want to say hello. Uh, Bella's one of them. So we signed up to the Yellow Army. It's okay, my dog is friendly. Well, we wear yellow because mine is scared and anxious. Yeah, very good. We get that a lot when we're walking the dog. Is that right? She's friendly? Yeah, well, ours ain't. Actually, she is, but she's just nervous. What we got? Please use a dog blanket if your dog. See, they love dogs here, don't they? Uh, I like that a lot. So, the bar here, which we had a little look at last night, we we uh, we use. Morning. Please return. You can get some sunglasses on. Oh no, they're reading glasses. I thought they were sunglasses. So this is the area where everyone was sat at last night with a big screen TV at the end playing the England game. Tell you what, Helen, I think it's got like a, a bit of a continental feel. You know what it reminds me of, actually? You know when we were in um, the Grenadines and the big outdoor area, lots of seating, sort of rustic feel. And look at these containers, they're all shut up now, but this is where we had our not-so-Japanese food last night. Dave in his element. I think your food's arrived. So... And so someone else. Yeah. <laughs> We've been to Notso, which is Japanese street food. And here are your, here's your starter, Helen. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, chicken wings. Yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? It does. And I have got the same as a starter. And then what are these chips called? Tokyo chips. Tokyo chips. Those are Tokyo chips. I think they're for you. I've got a Tokyo chips here as well for me. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a couple of burgers because we didn't fancy curry, not that we don't like it, and it does smell lovely. It's just that um, we, had a, go we had a curry the other day, and my goodness me, it was good, but it, it, it sort of. That's chicken, that's a chicken burger, that must that's be for mine, you. That's mine, yeah. And then I've got this burger here, what's this called? It looks like. What's this burger? Any idea? Looks quite nice. Yeah, that's a Wagyu burger. A Wagyu burger. Mm. Get him. We ordered these last night, actually, from oh. the last site. Yeah, we ordered online, and picked didn't we? our time. Look what else we've got. My favourite love heart. <laughs> Helen's ordered some pizza for this evening. Uh, I might have a slice of it, but I'm not a massive pizza fan. So, nice, yeah. so you've got this sort of um, 
nice sort of continental look, I think. As I say, it reminds me of one with the Grenadines. Everyone, everything's outdoor, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go in and have a look, yeah. But pipe music everywhere, so I just gotta make sure we don't get any strikes. But it's very nice. If you like Smooth FM, you're gonna win. <laughs> and we do like Smooth FM, so. So here we go, let's have a little walk round. <coughs> I think there's 20 pictures, Helen? Or is it more than that? It must be more than that. Well, we're number 20 and we're at the end of the line. So yeah. So it's got Sweet Pea on the left. What have we got on the right here? I can't see it. Primrose, number two. Ah, I'll tell you what, they're different colours. So you've got orange and you've got blue. So orange is on the left, look. Like, and then the blues are on the right. And the pictures themselves, I don't know if the colour indicates they're a bit wider, I don't know. They look the same, don't they? Yeah, right, so what we've worked out is there's a total of 31 units here. In terms of pictures, then it's a bit complicated, but what you've got is, um, how many was it again, Helen? 31. So it looks like the ones we're on are 14 metres. Ah, right, yeah. Oh, I see. So they are, they do get bigger. So you've got the Gladiator, the Emperor, and then the eight meter ones, which are these. Are they? And I guess that's where you're going to get your big Concorde motorhome type things in. The Emperor pictures are all these ones that have got the, the big sort of safari huts on them as well. So what was the total again? 30? And then the lodges at the end. Yeah. Uh, 31. 31 in total. Mm. Now, I'll show you the picture when we get there. They're, they're not like. You know some of the pictures that we see with the club sites and some of the private sites um, so you, if you want to put an awning up or a sun canopy you're not going to get your car at the side back at daffodil right quick wander around this pitch i just want to show you this to bear in mind really i haven't got the caravan pitch right over to this side <coughs> but you can see that because of where i had put it had a bit of a challenge getting the aqua roll in so I've had to sort of balance the aqua roll on the grass and on a wooden block that I've got which is working okay it's all full service so we're, we're hooked up over here um, I don't know what this is um, this unit provides 230 AC 50 cycles oh, it's a 32 amp supply so it's for a bigger supply and then over here where we're plugged in is your sort of 16 amp sort of box standard which is fine for us obviously you've got your trips on here and then on the other side <coughs> little illuminated post obviously you've then got a tv aerial connections and also if i'm right if i've got this right if i can open it which i can't well maybe it's all on here then but it did say that there was a satellite dish connection as well water on the tap and then the uh, collapse waste pipe going in here and I don't know about you but I always have a bit of a problem with my collapse pipes if, I've got, if it's out too far I have this going on and you can see that the water is collecting in that bit so I have to lift it to empty it I probably need to buy some sort of device to stop that happening Now the point I was going to make is we are as far over, if I was to put the caravan a little bit more this way so I can get the aqua roll on fully and look over here and I know I'm not quite straight I'm at the I'm on the uh, but if we move the caravan over any further then I'm not going to be able to get this awning on it's gonna be tight I probably can get it on but it's gonna be really tight so no space to put your car at the sign but plenty of space to put your car at the front so it's just a different configuration to what we're used to with camping and caravan club sites etc right what are these pictures called helen that have got the uh they're called emperor pictures right so what's the difference what's the emperor pitch got it's that got our a, pitch hasn't it's got a like a safari tent thing isn't it out building just there on front of it. yeah it's a little bit decking but they've also got um, tvs in them haven't they Log, log burners. burners. I think they've got a fridge. Yeah. So 
I think that's quite useful if you were going to bring a family with you and you know how cramped it can get in your caravan. If we bring our grandkids away sometimes, I do get like I've got nowhere to sit. So actually somewhere like that where you can eat out, watch TV, get the kids gaming if they want to. Um, gives you a lot more space on your pitch, isn't it? Another option. <clears throat> Obviously you're going to pay for the privilege of that. Goes without saying. We're just going to wander around this bit because this is where the dog walk area is, and also I think they've got some lodges around here yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. Here's your little doggy bin here. Yeah. And also, like you said earlier, Helen, somewhere to sanitise, which is good. Not quite sure what the what this hut's for, other than that, to be honest. No, I'm not. I really don't know. What you will also see dotted around this place, all over the place, dog parking. So these guys, sorry guy who owns the place, these guys are clearly very dog friendly, which I think is brilliant. Now what we noticed yesterday is when the Grand crew arrived with their big Land Rover Defender, they just, just drive straight through here, don't they, like a little Ford. That's pretty. And then down the stream, which is extremely clear water. It runs quite fast there. Hello. I need to come through. Ah, you're all right. Keep going. There you go. Stay <laughs> So lodges ones to four around here, and then the dog walk down here. <clears throat> Thing about this dog walk is, it's all on the estate grounds here. If you walk right down to the end, which we're not, I don't think we're going to do that just now, are we? Yeah. yeah, we are, okay. So you walk right down to the end of this bit, which is a lovely dog walk. Then there's also a gate which takes you onto a public footpath so you can extend the walk. So as you come back over the stream and turn left, then you can walk over here. I guess this is still included in the dog walk, I suppose. So we've got a dog on the lead. <coughs> But here they have some lodges, so if you've not got a caravan or you don't want to go camping, you just want to make it easy on yourself, then a uh, number of lodges here. Looks like we've got log burners in as well. Oh, a little outdoor burner, yeah. yeah. And a barbecue on the terrace. don't know if there's anyone in there. I don't want to be too noisy, no, nosy. Yeah, so you can light the, the burner there. Nice little terrace area here, that decking, the barbecue on, outside light, and you're right on the stream, you've got a nice little bit. They all seem to back onto the stream, which is good, so they would all have a similar outlook over the stream, yeah. See what I did notice here, Helen? This airstream, look at this. Quite like the airstream, yeah, I would never have one. <laughs> one because they're too expensive and uh, I need something rather large to tow something like that around. I know you can come in, you get them in various sizes but twin axle, very long, quite narrow but if you've ever seen inside these airstreams they are superb and uh, again that's got an air conditioning unit on top and obviously a log burner inside as well. Lovely. And for all you motorhomers, look at that one, the Concorde over there. That's a big one. Come on, miss. Bell. This way. Bell. Come on, Juju. So here we are at the facilities block. Now, let's show you around. Anyone who follows the channel will know I'm not really into going in toilets, so we'll see. I might do here, we'll see. This is um, disabled and also we've got baby care facilities in here as well. Not going to go in. So I'm in the gents. You can sort of get the uh, the idea, can't you? Hair dryer in here. Shaving mirror. Illuminated. Right, let's loose up as soon as I get to it. Let's put it down.
So just in here then we've got a wash up area. Again, all to a very high finish, gloss units. Pipe music everywhere you go here, so that's the only downside from my perspective. Laundry room, so if you need to do washing and, and drying, yeah, so you've got a washer dryer, ironing board over there which folds out of the iron, looks like no charge for that. Uh, in terms of a wash, it's four pounds for a wash, a pound for a dry, and then a little area over here as well. A favourite bit of all, this is a great little addition I think, the ice machine. So best thing to do here is get a freezer bag, come and fill it up, take it back to your van, put it in your freezer box and you have chilled drinks on your in your awning or under your sun canopy, which I think is great. That. I like that, yeah. Yeah, a great little addition. Look, there's a map here and it shows you where we are, Chichester, and there's Bogner Regis. Oh yeah, that's good to look at. So we've got, yeah, on the coast down here, Bogner Regis. The coastline comes around. Um, I don't know what the sort of scale this would be. It's not that big actually, because Chichester is really not very far at all from where we are. Now, is it Bossom or is it Bosham? I'll have, to, I'll have to double check on that. Railway station there as well, which is handy. I did hear someone at reception saying that they can get on that and get into Portsmouth on the train or get into Chichester on the train. Also, this is quite handy. It tells you places to visit and also where the shops are and the food and drink uh, takeaways and things. Really useful. So there's a co-op farm shop at uh, Funtington, Tesco 24-hour supermarket in Chichester. There's a Waitrose, a Sainsbury's. Yeah. In terms of like, fish and chip shops and Indian takeaways and what have you, that's brilliant. Also petrol stations on the left. Yeah, and what's nice about all that is it's all numbered, it's colour coded and it's all on the map. And it all looks to be in really close proximity. Yeah, that's good then. Well, good like it. Cleaners are in. So these are showers. When they're green, they're vacant. When you go in and lock up, they then turn red. Now Helen's been in here before me, but as you can see, you have a wash basin, so that's good. So I need to have a wash and a shave before I shower. When you lock the door, the light turns red, which is brilliant. The showers themselves, all you can see. Don't need shampoo, conditioner and stuff because it's all provided. Got a little seat here that folds out. Other than that. I'm with you. That'd be worth it. Hmm. Start again, I Set think. Press start again. <laughs> yeah, even Bella's getting a bath time today, look. All part of the concierge camping service. Come out the corner. <laughs> Come on, Muppet. Bath time. So they provide everything here. Look, we've got some uh, Groomer Performance Detangle uh, lotions here. They've also got some baby shampoo, which Helen's got in the corner. Yeah. And they've also got a, uh, a brush, big hair dryer thing over here. I think that's what it is. Anyway, find out in a minute. And then, as I might have mentioned this earlier, but it's a, a free service, but if you want to make a donation, that goes to Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, so yeah, we will. So we didn't just stay on the, on the, on the site for three days, we actually went and we visited the National Trust, a uh, big house called Petworth. Hmm. 
Um, and that was quite nice, wasn't it? And it was in a nice little market town as well. Yeah, it's named after the house, actually. The house yeah, in Petworth. The, yeah, really beautiful place. Mm. What, about 20, 25 minute drive? Something like that, about 20 minutes, I think. It was, I think, yeah, around that. Henry VIII used to live there for a period of time. And I took a picture of him in this fabulous dining room mm. above the... Uh, and I thought he was dead. <laughs> oh. And also, it's set in a deer park, and there's lots of little bambies there, isn't there? There is, yeah. It's, it's a lovely place. Well worth a visit if you're in the area, definitely. Mm. In fact, I should just say that um, we were here for three nights, and um, there's a lot to do in the area. Bognor Regis just down the road, Tichester just around the corner. Yeah. You've got Portsmouth down the road, Hayling Island, and Southampton. Uh, there is so much to do if you're in the area so um and there's a train station which is just around the corner mm -hmm. and you can hop on the train uh, to either uh, chichester or to portsmouth so we said we'd give an honest review yes we did um, and we will so we hope um, you enjoyed the tour by the way we enjoyed that little look round that we've just given you yeah. um I only want to do this and help. So, well, ha well, how we usually do this is that if we watch videos, we can never agree and so what we do is we'll start the video off and then we'll say Shall we watch it? Yes or no? After three, one, two, three, and then we both <laughs> say yes or no. Yeah, which is a bit sad, but that's what we do. That's how we are. We so are we'll do sad. that with this, then, shall we? I got this. Yeah. So, do we think concierge campaign is overrated? One, two, three. No. no. <laughs> wow. We <laughs> agreed. Yeah. It's, it's unusual for us to agree on anything. <laughs> okay. What about overpriced? Do we think that concierge camping is overpriced? overpriced? One, two, three. No, no. <laughs> we don't. Buy me. Yeah, no, it's not overpriced, and you know it really is five star. It's definitely not overrated. Uh, I've never been on a campsite like it in my life, and no. probably never will. I've been on some lovely campsites uh, with underfloor heating in toilets and one thing and another, but this is just everywhere you go and everything you touch. It's immaculate. The grounds, the toilets. There's never any rubbish anywhere. I never saw any friendly team aren't they a really great welcome and chatty and, and fun you know food was from the little takeaway places of street food japanese pizzas and that yeah were excellent mm -hmm. i can't can't knock it for anything i mean the uh, the best day i think i've had this year anyway was just last a few days ago when we were up in north norfolk at fox hills i, I thought that was brilliant we paid 60 63. 63. 21 a night. Yeah, 63 pounds for three nights up there. Mm. No showers, um, old out buildings with toilets, bit quaint, bit rustic, you know, uh, what have you. Proper camping. I really loved it. 63 pounds for three nights. Here we paid 60. 189 for three. 180. For, right, okay. So it was 63 a night, and I know it's, it is expensive, I guess. But you do get what you pay for, and it's one of these things you've done. Once you've done it, um, you've got the experience, haven't you? You know what it reminds me of? You know, when I used to work, I used to be away from home two or three nights a week, staying in some of the finest hotels in the UK. And, um, you know, you pay top dollar to stay in a nice hotel, £250 plus per night, up to £300 or more. Uh, but these would be top hotels, you know, in London or in Manchester or Birmingham. I don't know what's going on outside. We've got a cockerel or something going on there. Um, you know, you stay in some of the finest hotels, but occasionally, because of geography uh, and it was more convenient, I get myself in a travel lodge or a Premier Inn. So, two or three hundred pounds a night versus maybe sixty pounds a night. You still got a bed, you still got a toilet and a shower. What's the difference? Well, you've got much more luxury in a Crown Plaza or something, you know. And I think that's where this campsite fits in. Mm. It's top draw, top end. And you get what you pay for. There's no question in my mind. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed concierge. Did you? I really did. Um, yeah. Well, I come back quite 219 miles from home, so probably not yeah. going to be coming back anytime soon. But if it was closer to home, I'd probably go again. You know, I would. Yeah. But I think it's something. It's a bit of a treat, really, isn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. You, and you can say you've done it. But yeah. yeah, I liked last week as well. So there you go. Chalk and cheese. Chalk and cheese. So. If you have been, thank you for watching. If you're brand new around here, uh, try hitting that subscribe button and join us and you'll see all the videos that we do. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, and we appreciate your support. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and we answer all the comments. And to subscribers old and new, thank you very much indeed for helping yeah, us grow. Uh, I think we are close on, if not already, at 3,000 subscribers now, which yeah. I can't believe. I mean, I, I didn't know 3,000 people would want to watch us, to be honest. Uh, every day I have to sort of go, that's because I've got nits. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, thanks very much, guys. Wait, well, the next site is supposedly five star, isn't it? As well, it's supposed to be. We'll see. Yeah. So yeah. where are we going next? Bath Chew Valley. Bath Chew Valley. Uh, between Bristol and Bath. Yeah. So let, let's see how that five star compares with this five star. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you, you next time. one. Bye. Bye.